Since the Toyota Supra had the whole harness through the car, I didn't want to disrupt and do everything I did on the BMW and get all that wire mask. And I found this connector that is going to replace the ECU. And from here we're going to plug into the Speed EFI. Okay, so this is my plan. I'm gonna put some solder in here. Now, I'm gonna get here. One, two, three, four, five. All right, let's write this one. Now we just need to do this with all of them. First one is connected, everything. It's gonna look like this. I might get a 3D printer and print something to cover this. This is how it's gonna look like. I'm gonna get the wires, take out of the ECU in the car, put in here. This is simulating the ECU and of course goes to this ECU. It's gonna connect in here. So one down, this is flex fuel, uh, launch control and spare two. We're gonna keep this uh, like this inside the ECU and we're gonna go to the second one. So this is the next one. We're gonna get here on the larger stepper A2. We're gonna get number 34 on pin number one. Then we go here. This is the large one, pin number one, stepper A2 is yellow and green. So we're gonna get yellow and green and put on pin 34 of the 80 pin on the ECU. This is all work I've done before. We're gonna get yellow and green and go to number 34. So we're gonna cut, count 10, 20, 30, and one, two, three, and four. So it's gonna be here somewhere. We're gonna do the same magic. It's a little messy, but I got the wires that I need to go to the engine bay and I'm going to explain here real quick. I um, plug all the grounds, they are here and on these guys here I got the ignition. So one, two and three, you're going to pair them out. The pink one is the O2 sensor, this is a ground and then when you go back here, this is the VVTi. This guy here is the O2 sensor, this here is a boost controller, and this here is a fan. Yep, there we go. Locked and pretty. And then, we need to get this other side here, and as you see, that you can't see, yeah, there you go. We need to get all these guys crimp the other side and go to the engine and the other side is right here is the headrest of the wire that I took out of here I have eight foot I also got a 3d printer we're gonna start printing some stuff I intend to print the enclosure for this guy so he doesn't sit like this in the car and I'm gonna print a using either ABS or carbon fiber nylon the coils holder and the adapters to use the GTR R35 coils. So, yeah, I might even sell those on my website. So, it started like this, so I got the measurements, and then I'm gonna build the part, print a bunch of stuff, go to the car, test feed. You guys are gonna see videos, so, yeah. And 